Hawkins. Oh, he's just going up to the top. Oh, botch. I guess it was bound to happen sometime. But Hawkins isn't letting it phase him. Looks like he's going to try it again, actually. And there it was, the somersault leg drop. And Hawkins! It's pedigree! Pedigree! Pedigree by the higher standard, but will that be it? He's moving feral. There's two! No! Holy shit! I got a clap for Steve Farrell. His resilience and stamina have been indeed impressive. Oh, nice counter there! Hawkins was going for the spine buster. Farrell just counters and drops him with a DDT, and we got a cover. There's two? No! Hawkins gets the shoulder off. There was a, there was like an FU there. And Farrell chopping CJ wants more. His chest has got to be red and swollen after that. <laughs> Farrell working over the arm. Wait a minute. Farrell, I think he's going to go for the figure four again. How many times has this been? Four, five, six? He's going to tear CJ's leg right out of its socket. Oh, but again, Farrell just cannot make CJ submit. Then again, who the hell can? Again, stranger things have happened this evening. We saw we saw Cypher make Tyrant quit, so anything is possible. But look at this. Hawkins which is choking Farrell. I guess the old saying is true. You fight fire with fire. Actually, it should be fight fire with water, but anyway. Elevated choke there. Ah! Hawkins! I mean, he is just an aerial artist. Then again, he is the higher standard. Fez Press, though, from Farrell. And Nate, as I like to call him, is actually heading up top. Farrell doesn't fly often, fans. Oh! He nailed him, but Farrell still feeling the exhaustion. I mean, let's face it. I mean, this ain't exactly like some of the other opponents he's faced. I mean, you have to give it your best when you're against C.J. Hawkins. As you know, he's going to do the same. And, oh! Farrell just chucked him off the top rope. Kind of a, kind of a miscommunication on Hawkins' part. A miscalculation. Not necessarily the smartest choice of moves he can make. And Farrell is just sticking it to him because of it. And the knee drop. And Hawkins now appears to have red on his face to match his hair. Fez press and look at the way he's hammering him with the right hands. 
Farrell may have widened that wound a little bit. Sends Hawk off the ropes. Oh, counter though by Hawk. You know, his other name is the Blood Hawk. And at the moment, no disrespect, but he's certainly showing it. But anyway, <laughs> there was a suplex. Hawkins. Stretching out Farrell here. You know, CJ Hawkins. A lot of people would consider him to be the main guy here at BYU. Whoa! Was that like a half Nelson suplex? The cameraman wasn't doing his job, so I couldn't tell. Suplex there from the Hawk. Oh. And wait a minute, Hawkins! Pedigree! Pedigree on Steve Farrell! And he just drove him into that mat. But can, can he do it? Will that be enough? Hawkins with the pin! One! Two! Three! It's over! Unbelievable! What an effort by both Steve Farrell and CJ Hawkins! I'm going off to want this! What a damn match, fans! But this is CJ Hawkins tonight! The higher standard has been set once again! Hawkins victorious over Nature Boy Steve Farrell here at Dynasty 3. Woo, what a match though. Okay. Time for the first three main title matches. And here we go. This is the EBA Championship and it's going to be under extreme rules, obviously. And we see... The table rapist himself, Psycho Edge, coming out here to the ring. <laughs> yes, I still call him that because apparently he still has an obsession with tables. Well, he should find plenty of tables in this matchup since it is Extreme Rules. Man, EBA coming back, rising like a phoenix from the ashes while while I started my hiatus. And I'll tell you what, despite what I may have said previously, it's great to see EBA back. Psycho Edge seems, seems, to, be, seems, to, seems to be right at home. I'm, I apologize. I'm just a little fired up here. But anyway, oh my God. anyway, we see Anyway, we see the B EBA champion heading towards the ring. I am talking, of course, about Sean Matthews. Sean Matthews. He certainly is a deserving EBA champion. And he's the reason that EBA is back in the first place. Because he defended his belt against Hoovy. With the stipulation that if he won, EBA would be reborn, and if he didn't win, EBA would basically be buried. But yeah, it was Hoovy's own fault that he lost that damn match. But here we go. EBA Championship is on the line. And this match is underway. Let's do it. Psycho Edge, of course, formerly of Aftershock. And he was also the man responsible for taking the poor master out of 